and I just can't open it. Hold on, let me bang it on the floor. Who wants to eat that one? Some of this pasta in there? Nope. I know, I know. Watch, be careful, Michelle. You don't cut your fingers. Just some. Back. So that idea is kiboshed. Forget about doing that. Don't do that. Hi, Jan. Jeez. Hold on. Oh, this is my eater one. Oh, wait, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Stay there. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. What am I doing today, huh? What am I doing? I'm cooking chicken. There's a hashtag, hashtag what's for dinner with Jan over at Simply Homestead. I think that's what it's called. I should probably, look. hold on. It's hashtag what's cooking. What's cooking for dinner with Simply Jan Homestead. There's Jan, see? There's Jan, hi Jan. Anyway, what's for dinner here, you ask? chicken we're having chicken no i'm not gonna get my chicken hammer out this time because my chicken is frozen those of you that are disappointed sorry you can't beat a frozen chicken you just can't do it but i got this chicken back from sam's club look it it was twenty dollars for ten pounds of chicken here's the bag Sam's Club near you. No, not sponsored, but it's good chicken. For those of us that don't have our own chickens, Robert, because they don't want chickens. Robert, my husband doesn't want chickens. But look at this chicken breast. They're all big. Here's my hand, and they're as big as my hand. And I've got two chicken breasts in each. Well, one has three. So I've got that many meals out of it. And I'm gonna put these in our freezer. Normally, like, that one chicken breast is so big it would feed Rob and I both, but I make enough when, when I do cook, I make enough for him to take to work the next day. I'm nice like that sometimes. Right, Robert? Still can't have them chickens, can we? Nope. So anyway, let's get cooking. I've got these frozen chicken breasts and I'm gonna put them in my Pampered Chef baking stone. First, I'm gonna put some of this pasta in there some of this pasta in there because I want to use up these jars. They're Atlas Mason jars. I don't know if you knew that. Classico sauce does their canning in mason jars. I don't know if this is good for like pressure canning or water bath. I'll research that before I do it. But we're going to open the jar. Jeez. Hold on. Come on. Got it. Open the jar and we're just going to pour some in the bottom. Just some. Nah, we'll just pour the whole thing in. Why not? I save these and wash them out. And even if it's not good for canning things, you could put your dehydrated goods in here. So save these jars. We're going to jiggle this out a little bit. And then add our chicken breasts. One. Two. Chicken breasts. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. And then to that, we're going to add some other stuff that I didn't bring over here. So hold on. I'll be right back. All right. I, I, I have the stuff. I have garlic powder here. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder over top the chicken. Kind of heavy. Why not? And yeah, might as well hit the sauce, right? We have oregano to add. We're going to put oregano. And if you haven't guessed, this is kind of going to be maybe like an Italian dish. And believe it or not, some oregano like that much. Why not? Believe it or not, I like to cook my chickens frozen better because for some reason they're more tender. And then, oh crap, dump that everywhere. Musket powder, I, you guys know I love this stuff. This is like the best ever. We're going to add musket powder on top of this. It's really, really good. I promise you, I would not kid to you. Link in my description. Moving on. I've got this tomato just sitting here on the counter. I just happened to see that there. So you know what? We're going to put that on top of there. Get my handy dandy slicer. Do you guys have a slicer like this? You need one because watch this. We're going to get the one, the bottom off. Look at, I'd give that to my chickens, but I don't have chicken. Robert, so I'm going to go to the compost where the worms live. All right, watch this. Look how easy. And they're all, I'll show you in a minute. I know, I know. Watch, be careful, Michelle. You don't cut your fingers. Look how close I could get. Clear to that tip. Look at that. Look at, look at. They're all the same. All of them are the same. This looks like I should eat that later. We're going to put 
these tomatoes just layered on top and who wants to eat that one when you go in a restaurant they give you the end of the tomato if you own a restaurant don't do that to people because nobody wants to eat that part oh this is my eater one Anymore. All right, it's got to go on there. So we have that so far. Have that. On top of that, oh heck, let's add some more garlic powder on top of the tomatoes just to make them tomatoey. You know what? I'll have to show you. Put some more oregano on top of the tomatoes and maybe a little salt. Let me go get my salt. This looks delicious. A little bit of pink salt. We'll put a little bit of pink salt on here. See? Just because oh let me show you what I was talking about these are Hungarian hot wax that I sliced with my little slicer because it's cool it's the best slicer in the world and I've got little tiny tomatoes in there I cut up and they're tiny because I dehydrated them with like oregano and garlic on them I put them in the dehydrator I've not yet tried these yet I was letting them soak for a while and if they're good I'll make a video because everybody needs this in their life while I'm here I might as well show you this did you watch Rob's jalapeno on a stick look at we've got now I'm not eating these, not even tried them, because I know darn well that these are too hot for me. Rob can have every one of them. I don't, I don't care for them. Don't want them, don't need them in my life. To all of this, let me get a bowl. I've got a bowl, voila. And another jar of this, because I want to use it up, and I just can't open it. Hold on, let me bang it on the floor. You guys do that, bang things on the floor to open them. Oh, now come on. There we go. Woo. I saved the lid too and washed that just in case because you just never know. You may need it or something. All of that goes in there. And then guess what we have? Pasta. Barilla elbow noodles. I bought this big bag because I made pasta salad. No, what did I make? macaroni and cheese for my daughter's wedding and this is the leftover that we've been using up so i'm going to pour some in there just some just not a lot stir it up and see because you know it's going to get bigger as it cooks so i don't want i don't want it to be dry we'll stir it up in here but that should do it Plus, I still have some sauce in here. Look at here. We're just going to add that right to here. One pot meal. I'm all about the one pots. One pot. Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Stir it up a little. Add more seasoning if you want. You can season it however you little heart desires. Pretty soon, I'm going to be making my own sauce and canning it. Right now, my tomatoes are in the freezer. I put them in their hole. You can freeze tomatoes. Oh, and when I feel good enough with my fibromyalgia and everything, then I'll make a video and, and do all the things. Now, oh, one pot. Corn. I have this corn, and I thought it's dehydrated corn, and I thought maybe I would add it to this, but I think that would be gross. So that idea is kiboshed. Forget about doing that. Don't do that. It's gross. Sounds gross. Sound, yeah, it does. Then oregano, we'll just add more. Why not? The more flavors, the better, right? Yeah. More garlic pow salt powder, not salt, powder. Oh, let's put some muscat powder on top of the tomatoes. We didn't do that yet. Really, this stuff is good. And I've had some subscribers already buy this and they like it. My concoction. Oh, wait, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Stay there. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. We don't have it yet. Let's open this bag here. We've got cheese. We're going to put cheese on top of this. And I have... This This one is Italian style. So we're going to whoop it up with some Italian style cheese here. And I think I'm just going to put it all over the thing. Because why, why, why not? Put it on the chicken. We're just going to put it everywhere. Because I probably should be using this whole bag. Yeah. Voila! I'm, this is going to be delicious. Rob's going to be glad I made a video today because usually that means he gets dinner cooked. This pampered chef stone that I have cooks the best ever that I've ever cooked with. Make sense? 
made sense to me. Alright, we're going to put this in the oven when Rob gets home. So I will be back to show you the finished result. Oh, time to get this out of the oven. And Robert is home. My husband is home. Rob. Sometimes I call him Robert. Robert. But we usually call him Rob. Did I turn the oven off? 375. I turned it on. 330. It's 5 o'clock. We've got him home. Him. 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 Him, him, him's here. I'm not her, I'm him. Did you get that reference? I'm not her, I'm him. All right, you want to pop the lid off of that? Yep. That looks delectable. Oh, wow, that does look good. And I think, let me get a spoon. All right, let's check out the pasta. Oh, look at that. That worked out just, just right. There's just enough sauce to go with the pasta. It didn't explode too big. The cheese and the tomato, that looks delicious he's gonna be our guinea pig you want to be the guinea pig i'll be the guinea pig okay are you making noises or anything what's it gonna be sound like i don't know what it sounds like it it sounds like mm, this is delicious okay ready ready that's a huge chicken breast Yes, it is very big. It's huge. Oh, look at that. That looks good. I bet it tastes good too. I'm gonna find out here real quick. It's hot, isn't it? Good? Good. Alright, it's a winner. So like I said, I got these from Sam's Club in that big bag and it was frozen when I put it in there. And I knew I knew it would be done in time. Oh, that looks delicious. Alright, we're very gonna good. go eat. You liked it? Liked it. Liked it. Good job. Good job, me. Yay. We're going to go eat, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.